Welcome back to Gentleman's Corner, guys. My name is David. <coughs> I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. I know I am. It's great weather here in Texas. Um, so I'm enjoying myself. I'm currently smoking a little bit of, if I can get the little container out of here, Urgh. a little bit of Peter Stokeby's Luxury Navy Flake. I just finished recording the review for this video, or for that tobacco. That'll be posting tomorrow. And uh, overall, positive review. I'm going to leave the rest to, uh, for you to watch the video. Today, I just wanted to uh, kind of give an update on the channel and uh, address a couple of things as we are moving forward with the channel, uh, just to kind of keep everyone in the loop. You know, I know I haven't been super active recently. Uh, and mostly that's because of work. Um, it's the end of the month and I'm required to bill a certain number of hours for work. And uh, in order to do that, I took a day off for Valentine's Day. Uh, and so I'm paying the price for that by having to work a little bit extra every day to make up those hours. So I really haven't had the time uh, to get through filming a video and preparing for a video, scripting it out, all that good stuff. So bear with me. I am working on stuff. Life will settle down a little bit once February is over because it's a short month. So, anyway, moving on into today's topics. Uh, this week was International Pipe Smoking Day. That was on Wednesday. Um, if you would, in the comment section, please, you know, tell me what you were smoking on that day. I was out um, on my back porch and I was smoking a little bit of uh, Peterson Sweet Killarney in my Dunhill uh, 1960 Shape 105 Shell Briar Group 1. Um, that's the, the pipe that I was, when I bought it off of eBay, it was completely unsmoked, and uh, so I was the very first smoke of it. And uh, I figured for uh, such a splendid, wonderful occasion as International Pipe Smoking Day, it was worthwhile to break out the Dunhill uh, and get it lit up. So I'd love to hear what all of you were smoking for that day. Uh, looking for looking at the channel as it currently stands. Um, last week I uploaded the how to buy or how to get great deals on eBay pipes video. That video has already gotten over a hundred views in the week that it has been up, which is um, very refreshing to see. I'm hoping that all of you are finding that useful uh, and that you're getting some good deals on some pipes in the near future. You know, I've been looking at eBay recently and. Uh, my next, my next uh, kill that I'm looking to have is a church warden pipe because um, I, I have a small church warden that's about seven inches long, but I want one that's you know the, um, you know the, the 11 or 12 inch, uh, and I've seen some that have been coming up recently, and I, just, I haven't had the money to really jump on them and get them, so I'm still working on that. Now, <clears throat> the channel is currently at. What is it? 473, 474 subscribers, which is great news. Uh, I'm very, very happy to see that. Uh, we're closing in on 500, and eventually, if we hit 500, I will do a special uh, 500 subscriber video. So that'll be very nice and fun. <coughs> now, looking forward ahead for the channel. Um, I'm planning a new review uh, in about two weeks. Uh, I'm going to be doing a first impressions video of it later this week. Uh, and then the following uh, week, I'll put up a new video. And I'm doing it this way for this pipe tobacco because of what it is and the age that it has on it. So and that is going to be Fourth Generations 1897 by Eric Stokeby of the Peter Stokeby family. And this is 1897 Eric Paul's Blend. Um, this was a stocking stuffer that my wife gave me at Christmas, and I was very happy to see that the manufacture date on these Eric Stokebees is actually printed out. And this one is, um, I don't know if you can see that, January 2016, which is very, very exciting. So it's got three years of age on it, so it should be very, very delicious. So I want to spend some time with it. So I'll be devoting a couple of videos to that. That should be very exciting. Now, 
Moving back really quickly to eBay pipes, I wanted to show you all because they just got back from the shop and they are all fixed up and pretty. These are a couple of pipes that I got <coughs> that I, I had said that, um, in that video that a couple of them were missing and that they were in the shop being fixed up. These are the two pipes that I was speaking of. I'll show them one at a time. This is a GBD new standard. Um, now this does not have its original stem on it. But that's okay because this is a very unique stem. This is, I don't know if you can see that. It's got two holes in it. This is a double bore stem. And these were replacement stems that were available. Um, and the whole point of a double bore is to increase the strength of the point where you bite down so that you don't accidentally bite through it, which is a problem that you see on a lot of estate pipes on eBay is that their bits have been completely bitten through. That's why on all of mine, I have this nice little softy bit to protect the stem. And it makes it a little easier to clench. Now, this is the other pipe that I got, and this one's really, really pretty. This is a vintage Hardcastle Bulldog with a fishtail stem, or with a um, saddle bit stem. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you can see pictures of this on my uh, Instagram account. Um, this has got some of the most beautiful grain I have seen in a Hardcastle ever. Um, I actually went down to my local shop and to have it cleaned up and the gentleman who was working the counter just congratulated me and said you know if i were selling this in my shop it would be well over a hundred dollar pipe um so that made me feel really good because i got a really good deal on it and even after the um, cost of refurbishing these pipes and by the way what they did is they went and completely re-reamed the entire bowl it has no cake left in it and then they recarbonized it so this is virtually a brand new pipe. Um, both of them are. And I got them between the cost that I paid for them and the cost of cleaning them for less than what I would have paid for one of these brand new. So there you go. So, <clears throat> but I just wanted to show you these two pipes because um, I had said that they were out in the shop, and really these two are some of the crown jewels of the ones that I have bought on eBay in terms of uh, just how beautiful they are. This has got some great bird's eye, uh, just a really, really pretty pipe. Anyway, so looking ahead, um, like I said, I'm going to have the uh, Eric Stokebees 1897. I'm also going to be doing a couple of different cigar reviews. Excuse me. I don't know what is up with me today. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some cigar reviews in there, kind of mixing those in. Um, and then I've got a couple of new whiskeys that I want to review for the channel. So there are going to be some videos coming. Um, please be patient with me. Work is sucking up more of my time than I ever really anticipated. And so things are just a little bit slow to get everything moving. So other than that, guys, um, I really won't take up any more of your time. That's really all I've got for right now. Uh, but I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are, a very splendid Saturday. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And please do hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. It looks like a little uh, bell and it will send you a notification anytime I upload a new video. If you'd like to connect with me on other social media, you can do that in the, uh, at the links in the description box below for my Instagram and Twitter. If you'd like to ask me a question that I can answer live on uh, Splendid Saturday, you can do that over uh, Twitter by using the hashtag AskGentleman'sCorner. You can see an example of that in the box below or by leaving a comment and I'll try to get to it the next time I film a Splendid Saturday. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you're having a Splendid Saturday wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. And other than that, have a good one.